Hello guys, in this lesson we are going to learn how to create hero section using plain HTML and CSS. What I mean is that we have image at the background and on top of that image we have the text. One key requirement here is that the text must be visible, clearly visible, whether or not the image at the background is light colored image or dark colored image. We are going to move from something like this to something like this. We have different ways to implement hero section and in this example we are going to use CSS positioning. How that work is really simple, let me explain. So we have a container, a div or section, whatever you want to use, that contains every other thing in the hero section. This container we give it a background image using CSS, the image at the background. Let me show you here. So we have this container and we give it a background image using CSS. Then, if we bring a text on top of that container, inside that container, the text is not going to be clearly visible, right? Because of the image at the background. In order to make the text clearly visible, why also making sure that the image at the background is visible? What we can do is to bring a plane. We bring a section inside the container like this, but we still want to see the image at the background. So we adjust the opacity of that plane, something of this nature. Of course, we can change the color of the text so it is even more visible. This is the solution we are going to apply in this example. Okay, with that explanation in mind, let's head over to the code. First, I explain what I have here. What I have is what you can see on this page. So, come on, what is that? Here we have the container that contains every other thing in the hero section. Then we have the mid plane. There's nothing inside here because it doesn't need any text or something like that. And then we have the div for, for the text, whatever content that comes on top of the hero section. So this is our HTML. These are the text you can see on the page, right? And then I have a CSS file this CSS file with simple styling that has nothing to do with the hero section. The styling is for the button and the font size for the title, etc. Then in the HTML, I am linking the CSS file. All right, so let me refresh this page. And of course, this is what we have. All right, here in CSS, the first thing I want to style is the container. So I'll copy the container class and come over here. To achieve this result, we need to position the container and the children inside it, right? So we say position relative on the container. When we get to the children, we say position absolute. That is how you do it. So position relative. Then I will give it a width 100%. I'm not sure this is necessary because by default, this is a block element, it should be 100%. Okay, height of whatever height you prefer to give the hero section, height of 640 pixels, and now background image. So, background image URL, and I have some images. Let me pick the first one. So, I added three different images. You notice that this one has a lighter color. And this one has a darker color. With this, we can confirm if our solution works for image with light color and dark color. So that is for the image. Then the background size, I want it to stretch and cover all the available section in the hero section. So I'll say background size to cover and do not repeat the background image. Background repeat no repeat i will save let's see what we have so far so we have something like this then we move to the middle plane um this mid plane i'll put the class here what we want to do is first we position this absolute remember the parent relative the child absolute and then we specify the points for the positioning. So we are going to move from the left, 
on the left of the parent we move 50 percent left 50 percent and then from top we move 50 percent right so for that i'm going to say top i start with top doesn't matter 50 percent and left 50 percent what i'm trying to do is to position this at the center of the parent because i want to do the same thing for the content the same positioning for the mid plane so i'm going to bring I'm going to put comma here this is just css i'm applying the same styling for both the content and mid plane in this case so what will happen now is that it is going to move 50 percent from the top and then 50 percent on the left but as we begin to add the text all this text and stuff inside the content it is going to do something like this it's going to increase like this what we want is to center it no matter the size we want to center it in vertically and horizontally for that we say transform translate minus 50 percent minus 50 percent that should account for that so if i refresh the page now we have the content at the center so recall that we want to apply some opacity to the mid plane right so let's go back to the css and give it some extra styling i'll copy this mid plane here i want it to have the same height and width as the parent that is the container so i'll say width 100 percent and then height 100 percent it is going to stretch and cover the entire container and then i want to let me give it a background color background color um, black whatever color i don't think it matters much and then we give it opacity before the opacity if i refresh the page now you can see that the text kind of disappears right so what i want to do is to give this in some opacity of opacity 0 0.4 um that is too light let me try 0 0.6 0 0.6 all right that's a little better but you notice that the text is not visible let's tie that one what i want to do is to come here and style the content uh, let me confirm all right the content section content i'll change the color to white palm fff and let's see what that looks like okay Another thing we can do is to center the, the text. You can see they are aligned to default. We can do this with a flex, a flex model, but let me just use text align center here. And I'll refresh the page. And we have a hero section very close to what we have here. Let me test this with the different images. So the image we are using now is this very light one. You will notice that without, of course, we've seen without this mid plane, right? It is not visible. It is not clearly visible, the text on top of it. That's why we need the mid plane that we can adjust the opacity to give us exactly what we want. I'm going to test this with another image. The second image, that is this one here. This is a bit darker. So you can see the opacity still work. We can actually adjust it a little make it a little lighter 0 0.5 and that also works all right guys please hit the like button and subscribe if you have not done so thank you as you do that this brings us to the end of this lesson i hope it really makes sense until next time happy coding